Welcome everyone to the ninth video of my Wealth of Nations EU4 Let's Play. So in the last video I finally made peace with Denmark and took this uh, northern part of Jutland. The war definitely didn't go as well as I was hoping. I've Well I'm recording this a couple of days after I uh, recorded the last uh, first batch of videos. So I've had a bit of time to think about how the war went. The main thing that um, maybe set us off on the wrong foot was that I had to probably declare war sooner than I wanted to because my spies had caused so much aggressive expansion in uh, creating claims in the first place. I was worried that Denmark would join a coalition against me. In hindsight, I'm not massively sure if it would have been so bad since the coalition was relatively weak. But anyway, it did cause me to declare war early, so I couldn't get claims on these two territories because I'd focused on territories which had uh, the lowest chance of being caught and it ended up that Denmark's fleet was uh, at least not initially maybe but later on it was definitely better than mine I think they had a couple of ship fleet advantages about 62 ships to 60 when the war started but they were much concentrated uh, my fleet was a combination of uh, the uh, Novgorods, Polands and um, Teutonic Orders so it was like all over the place they had an advantage in the end now I also forgot to siege up their capital which caused a minus two war score now I'm more used to conquest Cassus Bellies and I completely forgot that punitive wars you have to siege up their capital so that didn't help either to be honest although they probably would have uh, been able to take it back even if I had taken it because they had fleet advantage in this area. The AI is a lot better now actually with stationing their fleet where they should do. They blocked the straits off and that was definitely definitely the right thing to do. So currently I'm still overextended and I think I'm planning on another war with Denmark. Sweden have now broken free so and I've also allied to them at the end of uh, the last video. So I need to take advantage of uh, Denmark's weakness as soon as possible when our truce runs out. I should actually check what Denmark's uh, military is like. They're up to 20 odd thousand, which is a lot less than they could be at. Um, the AI likes to go beyond their force limits normally. Um, actually, it's not all that much beyond it even though... Yeah, maybe that's a change recently for this new patch. They don't seem to have as big as militaries as they used to. At least at the time being. Perhaps they haven't got the money for it. Um, yeah, but uh, there's a ton of things I need to do. I've had a look in event files as well. Uh, so I know ways of getting power projection, which I'll go into detail shortly. I wasn't using this automated feature in uh, for the Cardinals. I'm going to start using that. It's actually pretty decent. I thought it wouldn't be well implemented, but it turns out it was. Uh, there isn't a good one that I want to invest in yet, though, so I'm going to hold off. My cap is 47. Um, I'm going to get this diplomat back from the Mun from Munster as well. And I'm going to probably call these early once that war exhaustion has gone down to below 10%. I think it would knock off a point maybe. Um, so I'm going to put the time down for a second to get my bearings and I'll uh, unpause. Right, so unhappiness among the merchants, lose diplomatic power or mercantilism. Right, so I'll uh, take the diplomatic power hit rather than mercantilism, I think. Okay, so diplomat is back. Now, my aggressive expansion has gone down a heck of a lot since I haven't really caused any for ages. Uh, taking those territories was extremely cheap because of the uh, coalition Casas Belli. So, it's a case of who do I want to do? I wouldn't mind taking some more territory off months to potentially, so have a look here. It's 1.48, it's quite high. What about Holstein? Um, 0.8, that's pretty good. You know what, I'm going to do that. Um, and what else? I should mention this power projection as well. I had to look in the event files, and there's a whole different ways that you can get it, uh, which I haven't mentioned. As you know, you can see there that you can get it by embargoing, uh, just creating rivals in the first place you can get it. 
uh, by taking territory you can get it or starting wars against the rival or even joining wars against the rival which I didn't know previously but you can also get it by subsidizing their enemies so say I gave money to England or Novgorod then depending on how much you give then uh, you get more power it's up to a fixed amount of 50 I think um, if my notes are correct you can also do it by privateering within their trade nodes I think the maximum power you can get from that is 10 and it depends on how rich the node is and how much power they have in the node and how much you're privateering in that node I think I might do that in a bit to try and get me over 50 I may be able to do it uh, you can also support rebels to get more power projection uh, more money you invest uh, the uh, more the amount I think it's a cap of 50 on that a fixed amount um, but yeah, let's uh, try this out anyway. Let's do some privateering. I'm going to take out five of these, I think. Let's try five to start. So it's only a light ship, of course, which you can turn into privateers. I'm going to send that to the North Sea. Now, there is a potential that this is going to give Cassis Bellies to people. Uh... Scotland, anyone who's over 10% in a node, I think, can get a Cassis Belly if you send pirates there. So England's right on the verge of that. I'm not sure how much power projection this will give. It probably won't be enough to take over 50, but I'm going to try it just for demonstration purposes mainly. Right, I'll put those back on Lubeck. I might put more privateers there potentially, but I'm not sure yet. Um, okay, so what else am I looking for? Um doing. I'm going to buy another ship. I think, yeah, I'm well under my force limit. So I'll make another bark, is it? If I'm going to war against Denmark again, I probably need a much bigger navy. I need to save up some money so I have a surplus so I don't need to take loans. I'm going to put that in Bremen, I think. Right. right I've done a lot of talking and not a lot of playing so far, so let's... Uh, Go in, right, are they there yet? Yeah. Now, what's that say? You see that? Send in privateers against Denmark. That added a point. Now, I think I would have to probably put way too much here to uh, get over 50. I'm losing two per year. I'm gaining one per year. Yeah, I'd probably have to continuously keep on putting all my fleet there. And I want it. I think I want it here at the moment. Most of the money's been dragged out of here, so yeah, I'm going to abandon that idea. But in the future, that's something I definitely will be uh, considering doing, privateering, just to get rivalry points. Um, go there. Uh, did this, well, the money for privateers shows up here on Spoils for War. Basically, the privates, uh, privateers take uh, a share, and you get a smaller share of the money but their power is dub uh, well I think it's 50% more than normal that you would get for light ships for pir uh, privateers right and um, right so I've got a spear diplomat uh, I've relation I'm oh, currently over a relation slot but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do here I could scrap Brandenburg as an ally the ally to Denmark I'm really considering that. I should check who I can declare war on, actually. So, that would be pretty good. Brandenburg would actually join in that war. If I make a claim. So that's a reason to keep on to Brandenburg. Sweden wouldn't. Uh, what else? Uh, Denmark. Uh, 20th of February. i got to make a claim against Munster then. I think I'm going to keep on to my alliance with Denmark. So I may want to... Uh, Get them helping me out over here. Right. And, um. Pause for a bit. Am I over my general amount as well? No, it's too. Right, good. Close up. Why is that 49 now? Hmm. Time to put privateers back on now. Um, 
I've only got 15. Yeah, I'll, if I can get 50, then I'll do it. So yeah, let's do this again. Try it out. Right, privateer. Uh, North Sea. This can go back. Yeah, so we've got we're getting monarch points now. Should be at least. Um, is it fifty? Yeah, it is fifty. You need. You don't need fifty-one. Let's check the monarch points. Yeah, right. That's worthwhile. Uh, yeah, and you can see spoils of war here in a minute when it comes on. Nineteen point one nine. Okay, great. Hopefully England get, doesn't get enough power to uh, get that Cassus belly on me though. Uh, that's expired. Bohemia's at war of Ukraine. Wow, look how big Ukraine got. Took much of Hungary. Um, that's most of that's Hungarian though, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure how they got that. Maybe in war, I guess. Yeah, they have a border now. Wow, okay. Super Ukraine. Uh, nice to see them growing in size rather than shrinking, maybe for a change. Um, right, so Munster now sets us a rival. Still at 50 power projection, excellent. So we're getting a bonus. Uh, right, I should have gone below this amount now. Yeah, I'm going to call these up now, I think, rather than wait. Um, Okay, 33. It's not not spending much more. Uh, it's five more than normal. That is right. I could be buying some armories in a bit as well. Wow, it's actually going up. Oh, it went back down then. Uh, Pomerania. What am I getting for privateering? One. So it's just enough, which is great. Uh, right, so call Diplomat from Pomerania. And I'll send that to... Sweden. Right. And uh, let's think about using this. Right, I'm going to use this then, uh, the automated system. So I click this now and it will basically spend all of the paper influence I have, but just to the amount that it's over uh, this, Genoa's. I thought how it would work it would, is that it would just spend all your power influence on one cardinal, but it doesn't do that luckily. You see there that it just uh, got enough to go over it, I think. So I'm going to leave that on. Keep investing in that one. How many cardinals do I have? One. I thought I had two then. Austria flag similar. Um, right, so I'm waiting for claims basically now. Uh, when I get to 250, I'll start to make some more. Um, right, I've actually gone into my power projection now. I probably don't want to invest any more pirates perhaps or it's gonna I think you could get more money by investing in Lubeck so I'm gonna have to take the loss on uh, the monarch points I think okay so that completed a claim on Denmark brilliant uh, I'll try six see if it gives me a bit of bonus Doubt it though. Alright, so do I want to make more claims on Denmark? Um, Coalition CB is gone now though, sadly, so it's not so important to make tons of claims on them. Point nine. It's not so important to make claims up here now because Norway doesn't exist. Um, yeah, 
Let's do Slesvik. Okay, didn't get caught from that last one, which is great. We've got then Honest Brook. I get Diplomat back in five days. I might start a war here now on Munster. I think I might spend Dipper points to get rid of that. Let's wait for five days. Okay, he's back. Oh, we have gone back up. Brilliant. Um, the cap on long-term rivals is 30, so I might keep my privateers there until it reaches that uh, cap. I think I might be able to just about keep my power projection at 50. Right, so let's see if I can declare war here. Poland, Brandenburg will join. Magdeburg, Hess, and Dutch Miner. So Magdeburg, do they have claims on them? No, they don't. Good. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. My aggressive expansion is... Oh, looking at the wrong one. It's pretty low. This could create a coalition, potentially. Hopefully Denmark wouldn't join it, but they might. But I think I need to expand my... Well, I'm not particularly massively strong yet, am I? So, um, who else? The ally to Hess. Yeah, they can't possibly have a. Be stronger than Poland and Brandenburg and myself combined that alliance. So, I shall uh, declare war. And I haven't got maintenance on, which isn't good. Should I raise war taxes? I don't think I will. Might hire a couple of mercs. Right, let's see who joins. Okay, right, so it looks as if it's lying still on um, that uh, screen who will join in. I think Poland just dishonoured, and that's pretty terrible for me, actually. This is a very even war now. Um, I was worried that was going to happen, but I still did it anyway. Uh, right, so can I realise Poland? If I can't, that's going to cause big issues. And yeah, they dishonored then, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. That's really bad, actually. So... I need to get my maintenance up quickly. I'm going to move my troops uh, back over here. I'll make the mercs. We're at war with those nations. Okay. Can I call to arms Oldenburg? Wow, it's pretty close, but not close enough. Um, well, it's my ally to Austria, Sweden, Lunenburg. arms here. Probably can't get the Emperor to co come into a war, maybe. Right, so, um... Oh, France is at war with Austria, is it? Okay. Forgot about that. Oh, because they're a rival as well, um... We got, uh, ten more rival points, so I'm actually gonna recall my privateers. I don't need them, uh, doing that anymore. So they can go there, and they can go there. Right. That's a fixed amount, that privateer amount, so it's not like I need to keep it on now. The only reason to keep it on is if I wanted to privateer. Right, so Diplomat is back. I'm going to re to Poland, hopefully. Send. So that's... Um, 
That's really terrible, that alliance system, how it's working. I mean, I could say declare war on Denmark and not have them join in on the war. I'd be in right trouble there. Uh, right, so Poland did really. Uh, it was only our relations that were affected. They will be called into this, so I'll send. So, it's good at least. Excellent. I think most people would want that to tell the truth, I think. Well, I'm speaking, I'm um, not sure I can really speak for most people, but I assume they would want that to tell the truth when you're declaring war or not, if they would join. Um, okay, get them a couple of mercs, get my... I got discovered there, that's not good. Maybe I should have done, shouldn't have done that claim. It's going to cause gross expansion. Um, it's not within the HRE, so it might be less down here, maybe. Maybe not. Denmark. That's quite low, actually. Only 26. They won't join the coalition unless it reaches 30, but if I take territory in this war, it probably will get over that much. Only Mecklenburg's in the coalition at the moment. Right, so... Time wrap. Diplomat arrived back. Uh, so I'm going to send my diplomat to... I don't know. Don't have a border with Magdeburg, no. Couldn't have made a claim there. Um, I don't think I'll make any more claims on uh, Denmark, I don't need to. Scotland's gonna get conquered. They're not being protected anymore, I didn't realise that. Might want to go after them in a bit then. I'll improve relations with. Uh, France. Okay. Now Brandenburg allied to Denmark in the last video I think as well. So I might actually want to declare war on Denmark while this war is going on. Because Brandenburg's involved in this war, an ally with me, they wouldn't be able to join on Denmark's side then. So I think that would be quite a good idea. Um, now there's some troops down there. I think I should just get siege and get this war over. That's what I probably want to do. The truce of Denmark runs out in 68, I think. I'm actually siege on my territory. Right, Hess is coming up here. They've got a decent army. I could even wait for Poland to get over here. Stay there for the time being and see what they get up to. Get my morale up a bit more. Okay, I still don't want to do that. Uh, that's very good, but I need some different points to uh, for this war probably, so I'm not going to spend it quite yet. Okay, diplomats back. Improve relations with. It's pointless in doing Denmark, isn't it? Whoa, how did Cologne get so big? Relations here with my ally. Might want to drop them as an ally in a bit. Okay. Right, morale's up pretty much. They got 14,000 there. I really need um, Poland to come in here. What's Poland doing? 
I should be able to get over here because I have access through Brandenburg. Go and crush. Um, how big is Brandenburg's army? Uh, 12,000 troops they got somewhere, but uh, not within their territory. Not getting any walks ocean good, but if they take that, they will be. I will be. There's, um... Is there a river crossing there? Can't tell. Go there. Okay, I really need to keep. Yeah, there was a river crossing. I need to be careful with my manpower as well, a lot, because uh, we're going to be starting a war in Denmark relatively soon. I might lose in that, probably. Yeah, I'm getting beaten up a bit here. Have I got a, yeah, I've got a general, good. It's so important to be on the defensive. <laughs> right, uh, so they should should be able to wipe these out. Lithuania is finally coming over. Good. Right, will I get there? Yeah, I'll get there beyond before the end of the month, so I'll wipe these stack now. Okay. Now, I'll just put that on. Hopefully, Lithuania. I'll wait till Lithuania gets there, and our British troops over to here. Probably go to Honestbrook. Supply limits. Not great, actually. Hmm. Doesn't look like they're going to follow. Okay. Truce runs out with Denmark in August 68. Let's move those to there. Some more Lithuanian troops coming in, good. Some money. I think it will take war taxes. I want to put my army there, but that worries me. What are they doing there? Foreign plots. I'm gonna have to take the spill to hit, I think, sadly, which is definitely not good at the moment. Uh, I haven't caught up those two provinces yet, which means they could potentially revolt. Um, National revolt risk guy I might want to take later, maybe. Okay, my army's coming up to strength now. I think I'll wait another month and then I'm moving on here. Actually, that's right. Made a claim there, good. Siege up there. Poland's not doing anything either. Right, so with this diplomat, I'm going to right, take that as a mission. Relations of Oldenburg. 
might as well. Um, I'm going to cause a grass expansion around here actually, so I'm privileged to clone. Oh wow. Hess was just elected as emperor, that means that Austria is a lot, going to be a lot weaker. Um, don't see that very often. Um, wow. Who's that? The Bohemia lose a war or something. Have that released. Uh, yeah, weak Austria temporarily at least. Now 16 actually should crush that immediately because it's over 10 to 1 I think. What day did I get there? Right, oh, they abandoned their siege 12th. The 12th as well. Okay. Good, they're moving off for some reason. Oh, maybe not. They're coming up after me. Right, this has uh, got a crossing and this marshy usually, I think. So I I think I'll accept this combat. But uh, I wish that Poland and Lithuania were helping me out more. And Brandenburg. My morale isn't quite up, maybe. Okay, even Magdeburg's coming in to help here. Might hire a couple of mooks. Okay. Yeah, double minus. Uh, we. Looks like we have the same tech levels. My morale's a lot better, though. We actually did more damage on that round. What's the general look? Like? Well, it's the fire phase at this stage is rubbish. We're pretty much even. Okay, that's good. Justified demands run out, sadly. It's way too even this fight is. We're gonna win it on morale, but damage wise, we're gonna wreck each other. to there. Hess is coming all the way down here. Um, well, I guess I'll attack here. I need to siege up this territory. I need to get this war over. Let's wipe them out. Now, this, their morale is going to go back up. I'm going to move to there, take out that unit, then I'll move to there. Hopefully Lithuania comes in and helps out. Right, wipe that out. That's... I'm... yeah, quite a bit under manpower. Oh, they stopped there. So I think I'll move to there. Hopefully Lithuania and Poland will uh, finish them off. Yeah, well done. So when did I get there? 16th? Yeah, I'll, I'll help out actually. Okay, so they got minus one for terrain. Doesn't say crossing. We shouldn't get a crossing penalty from coming over there. Uh, looks like we wiped them out. Excellent. Right, so. Switch that up. Move to there. Uh, 
right, so select some mooks. Uh, attach those. Okay, I'm going to Xolde. Take out two, two. They can split in half. One can go to there. One can go to there. I'll keep my main army there, I think. Um, take that off. Take that off. Okay. Back to Munster. Let's check out. Rogue's Ocean's gone up a lot. Definitely gonna have to cut that down in a bit. I've actually lost track of time, so I think I'm going to call this an end of the video here. Uh, so I'll finish this war up uh, in the next, and hopefully even declare war on Denmark. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.